Hey everyone, so <coughs> darn it. I just woke up from about a two hour nap. It was like a two hour cruise, Gilligan's Island there, reference, but uh, I have some work to do here in a little while. I wanted to take a little bit of a break, just had some lunch, gonna take my drugs, get all that stuff in me, but wanted to do some more. Box openings, because I got tons of stuff out in the garage. And I'm going to be doing a whole heck of a lot of Etsying in the next uh, couple of days. Um, I talked to you a little bit about the uh, steerables semi-trucks, but the steerables semi-trucks are sold. All of them. They all went. $625 for all five of them. Um, and they are gone. Um, so... And they will never come back up for sale. Well, never is a long time, but until this particular collector locally, um, who has a massive collection, um, until he decides to sell them. So, let's get into another box opening. We're not going to do all of these at one video, that's for sure. Go ahead and set some of this stuff out of the way. They're a little cold because they've been sitting in the garage, but let's look at this particular box. Another box came in to the warehouse. This one was from Weaverville, North Carolina. And automatically we see some more red lines. Always like to see that. Some oranges. Some wrapped stuff too. I don't know what's in there. An individual car. That's a red. Ooh, ooh, look at that. You can tell just by the, the look of that one. That's an evil weevil. how they wrap cars anymore some of these things are so darn valuable but let's dive in here let's start with this one what do we got here this is a green 1971 Hot Wheels Redline Evil Weevil these are so, so tough to find in any condition any longer. This one here, suspension is, looks like it's kind of rusty. It's been played with on carpeting, and there's all that carpeting that's wound underneath the axles there, but I'll get my tweezers out and get all that carpeting off of there. That'll help to take the stress off of those axles. But Evil Weevil Green. That's a good car. I like that car. I like Evil Weevils. Evil Weevils are very, very difficult, so... Let's see what's going on in this baggie. This is from Craft Auction. I just won some stuff from them again yesterday. There's like Craft. They, they do a better job of packaging everything. I can't wait to get into this bag. The more I look at it, the more I see things I really, really like in there. Uh, wow, what the heck? Um, there's a Corvette here that's just beautiful looking. Of course, that Mustang's beautiful too. But let's work on craft here. Let's try to get my fingers to work. There we go. There's that one. And craft, of course, takes good care of packaging their cars. Oh, 
here we go. A very sharp near mint Hot Wheels Warpath. That is mint actually. Now, near mint Warpath. Look at that base. Shiny base. Stunningly beautiful car. Now, I've got that blue one that we did in a video about five, six days ago. Um, and that one, of course, was a $300 car. This is less. Um, it's so very, very nice. 1976, because of the red, white, and blue. Pretty easy to figure that one out. Warpath. And this is the nicest pit crew car I've ever had. Um, this is, again, the from the race series, a pit crew car. Just super, super, super nice. Thank you, Craft Auction Service. So here we're gonna be this baggie, we're gonna be in for a little while. Here's a beautiful orange uh spitting image, 1969, beautiful orange. Base is corroded, you know, not corroded, if you want to call it corroded, okay, call it corroded, but Dull base. That's the best way to be able to describe this base, and and they all do. It's very rare to find these uh, with nice, bright, shiny bases. Um, just a lot of metal there, a lot of surface, uh, but a beautiful orange spitting image. Green. It's the light green or apple green. Um, no, no, and that's the regular fenders on the back. They're not the shortcut fenders. Twin Mill, 1969. Huh. Boy, do I have a ton of these now. Jackrabbit special. Just another one. I think I've got three or four or five of them in stock now. Um, Jackrabbit special. You have to do some kind of a special, special on the Jackrabbit specials. Just to get them to move. Beautiful. This is anti-freeze anti-freeze 68 beatnik bandit really nice glass on there ta-da that's probably the nicest beatnik bandit anti-freeze beatnik bandit i've ever had it's very very nice the smooth paint on here it's just really soft, which is hard for them because uh, the paint on these normally is a little bit bubbly and choppy and stuff. But look at that base as well, too. Really nice. Beatnik Bandit. And, of course, i got to order some more tires and wheels. An orange... Uh, silhouette, 1968. Missing one of its wheels there. Ordering some more wheels here today. I'll get shipped to the U.S. warehouse so that next time I go down I can pick them up. But nice! Actually, I think they get shipped right to my house here. I forget. But we'll figure that out. What's going on in this? 
1968 Hot Wheels Red Line, of course. This is the Barracuda. Barracuda. With the painted tooth, actually, there, too. Um, there, it's got that paint. Not that it adds anything, but it's got that paint right in the center. Um, this is a Hong Kong car. Aqua, as we can see there. Again, just a really nice car, really nice base. All the way around, nice car. And this little bag. A couple more, two. Nineteen sixty nine Hot Wheels Blue Lincoln Continental Mark Three, I think it was something like that, and uh, just a really nice collector grade car. Nice blue, decent. Last one here. Do, 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 do. Worse than the others, but. Tough car. This is the 1968, first of the series, Cougar with the black roof. Unfortunately, it's missing its hood, but that is really, really sharp. Unfortunately, it's missing its hood. The benefit of it missing its hood is that it makes it affordable for somebody else to get a really nice car that they couldn't otherwise afford. Um, it's just they don't get the whole car and they miss a hood. Let's go and dive into this, shall we? Because I was like, what the heck? How in the heck did I buy this? Oh, another jackrabbit. A Jackrabbit special in there. All right, let's do something different. I don't want to bang these cars up too much. Let's get out the old skizzards here. Boy, they're not sharp. I to buy better scissors. Get in here without banging them around too much. I don't know. No, let's go and yeah. Come on. There we go. Twisty. Some really nice cars. Jeez. It's amazing how. Pay, I don't even know how much we paid for this lot, but it was well over $100, I would imagine, and uh, they all just got thrown together here into a, into a bag. It's kind of funny, and there's an interesting combination. I'm going to put my, the phone down. This is a treasure trove. This is the proverbial treasure trove. Let's start with this guy. You and I are both gonna look, it's a dinky. Volkswagen. Missing a tire. It 
It's a matchbox. This is the Mercor or something like that, they called it. That goes in there. It takes care of that pretty quickly, but look at this. Definitely red, blaring red. 1968 Hot Wheels, Corvette. Look at that blaring red. Now, because this has been in that baggie, it's got wear on its high points and nicks and scratches. Not, well, not really scratches, but nicks. But very, very, very sharp car. Woohoo. Gotta love that. Then we've got, again, the same red. I think that's red. Yeah, it looks pretty red to me. Uh, red, 1968, Hot Wheels, Silhouette. And we've got Corgi Juniors. These always do well. The Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Car. It looks like it's all complete as well, too. All their arms are up and everything, so that none of the arms are snapped off at all. That's a good car, because normally, you know, the high points get s snapped off. So that's good. I'm glad it survived in the baggie here. This is, it's like metal wheels. Yes, those are metal wheels. You have to do with the wheels on the early matchbox. You have to do just like you do with a um, pearl necklace. And this is the Jaguar with the metal wheels. Another Corgi. This is from the Whiz Wheels series. Whiz Wheels series. Volkswagen. Those always sell because everybody always collects Volkswagens. That's pretty sad. This is a Husky. Um, probably 1958, 59. Um, this would be like in Rust Valley Restorers, you know, sitting out in the back in the... Uh, um, where they go out and move cars all around and everything. This would be sitting out there waiting to be restored in some way, but that one goes that way. I wanted to be so careful with this. Number six. This is the Boss Haas Chrome. Stunningly beautiful. Just look at the sparkle. Look at the base sparkle. Stunningly beautiful. You can get new stripe kits for these if you want to. This is basically mint. Needs new stripe kit. Doesn't, but it doesn't need it for me. Stunningly beautiful. Matchbox. Super fast. Really nice base. This is like Rondura or something like that. I can't even read how that printing is so small there, but that's actually in pretty good shape. I need more Matchbox Superfast in inventory. 
This is Matchbox as well, too. That's very early. That's like 1955-ish Matchbox. And that's a Caterpillar. So some people that collect cat stuff will buy that. This is also early um, Matchbox. Unfortunately, it's got its broken uh, metal wheels. That's actually M M Mako Len Les Lesney before it was called Matchbox, 1956, 57-ish. It's what kids used to play with back then. Then we have what's really interesting in this lot. Then we have this race car. Who watches racing any longer? Uh, 1967, really nice. This is the yellow window. Um, what you're looking for when you're looking for one of these is you're looking for the one with the clear window. The clear window is exceptionally difficult to find. I've never found one. Um, that's how difficult they are. I go through a lot of collections, don't I? And uh, this, unfortunately, is not really worth that much. Got tons of red lines coming up. Olive 1968 with the hood, white interior, no lines, Hong Kong. Firebird. Really nice car. The glass on these gets broken off pretty darn easy, so you have to be careful. I'm surprised as it got shipped like this that it uh, it survived. That's it's a, that's a good thing. What is this one here? This is a T bird, probably. Yes. Woo-hoo, so look at that beast. 1968, Sweet 16, Hot Wheels, Black Roof, Olive. Look at that base. What a car. Suspension's all good on it. Custom T-Bird. With some sticker kit too, jeez. What a great car. Olive. I've got three olive cars. This is pretty, three olive 68s. So that's pretty cool. Hot Wheels. Let's see what's going on with this. It melted. Or, yeah, it melted somehow. Somebody took a lighter to it or something. I'm not sure. But uh, Rolls Royce. This is the gray. Or silver. That might be just silver. I have to. Yeah, it's it's gray. Uh, Rolls Royce. Uh, Hot Wheels. Red line. Do 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 do. This could be awesome. No. It's a Salido, so not as important. How to get in here without doing a whole bunch of damage? Hot Wheels, we've seen this before. Um, this one has the white interior though. So this is interesting. This is the Jackrabbit Special white interior. There's something about interiors in the Jackrabbit Specials. Most of them, I think, were black. 
and few were white. But I'll have to do some research on the white interior versus the black interior on the Jackrabbit specials. This one's easy. We can just take care of this. This is a Hubley, or I'm sorry, Husky again. Um, again, one of those Rust Valley Restorer kind of cars that would go out into the back lot. Oh, another nice gift. 68 Hot Wheels, Corvette, Aqua, U.S. car, white interior, clear glass, stunningly beautiful. Matchbox. This is the Lesney early series. Interesting how the suspension's done on this one. This is different. Um, I'd have to pull up another bus to show you the difference, how that base is different. I'll do some research on that. My arms are getting so tired after battling COVID and keeping everything moving at the same pace. So 19... 70, Lola GT in blue. Great collector car, affordable, gotta love it. 1969, Hot Wheels, green, Nomad. Classic Nomad. And the Holy Grail. Nineteen sixty eight Hong Kong. Orange, Camaro, with the hood, with some stickers, but with a windshield that's been broken. No black roof. Very, very nice car. I got some nicer ones of these. This is the green um, uh, Lesney matchbox, if you will. Um, Morris Minor. In green. Where you can see a red car, then the question becomes what color is this? It's definitely not red. Two different colors. This is a rose. U.S. clear glass white interior um, Terrell. Yeah, that was right. Terrell. Pretty far gone, but all of it's there. That'll just be a good collector car. It's probably not any more than ten dollars at most, but still just fun to get these because they sell very quickly. 
and they go to good homes with collectors that truly appreciate them. And that's it for this uh, video. I did really, really well on that little bag. Um, I have to remember or go in and check and see how much I paid for that because I didn't pay that much for it. And there sure was a heck of a lot of really, really good. And look at that. There's even a sign from my, my Uncle Roy, my great Uncle Roy there on the Camaro. Just noticed it. Champion spark plug sticker. Thank you, Uncle Roy. He was a good guy. He was an executive for Champion Spark Plug Company in Toledo, Ohio. Um, and he built three plants, as a matter of fact. Uh, one here in Windsor, one in Windsor, or, I'm sorry, one here in Windsor, one in Toledo, and um, one in Belgium. And he was smart enough to build them exactly the same way because they were producing spark plugs. That's what the plants were doing. And um, he decided to build them all the same way so that if there was a problem in one of the other plants, he didn't have to leave Toledo, Ohio. He could drive over to the plant that he built and look at it and be able to answer the questions for whatever Belgium needed or whatever Windsor needed. Kind of a smart guy. He'd just go over on a Saturday and take a look and say, hey, here's what you need to do. Um, that way he knew how each of the plants was being adjusted and could keep track of them all too. But thanks for watching this video. We're going to do a couple more of them here. Uh, get this stuff cleared up here. But thanks for watching.